For Mike Lachance, it all began in the mid-60s in his home province of Quebec. Lachance climbed his way to the top and became one of the greatest drivers in harness racing history for more than 40 years. Still fiercely competitive in his mid-60s, the classy gentleman remains fourth on the all-time money list at $190 million, with more than 10,000 wins, and third at the Meadowlands with 3,500 wins and $80 million. The 1995 Hall of Fame inductee followed his brothers into the business and has stood out as a winner wherever he went, winning titles at Blue Bonnets, Brandywine, Batavia, Foxborough, and Yonkers Raceway, where he won 12 races in one day in 1987 before coming to the Meadowlands in 1988. Iron Mike has compiled a long, enviable list of stakes victories, including four Hamiltonians, and has driven many of the sport's great horses. Among Lachance's early stars was Doc Fella, an ironclad millionaire pacer, yet he grabbed his first national headlines with his first of two Horses of the Year in 1989. Matt Scooter lowered the all-time mile mark in a 148-2 time trial in 1988. That season, the long-striding son of Direct Scooter, who earned nearly $3 million in his illustrious career, gave Lachance his first of two Meadowlands Pace trophies. He won his second pace with All-American Theory in 2003. From 1994 to 1999, Mike Lachance and trainer Ron Gerfine formed a Hamiltonian dynamic duo, winning three classics in five years. And the first came with Victory Dream from the first crop of the Great Valley Victory. Victory Dream and Lachance sailed through a Dan Patch award-winning season in 1994. Just two years later in 1996, Lachance and Gerfine were back with the eventual Horse of the Year and another Valley Victory offspring, the Super Philly, Continental Victory. Lachance's choice over Lindy Lane held off that rival in an epic matchup of heat winners. Continental Victory's 152-1 opening heat was the fastest in track in Hamiltonian history, and with her 152-4 finale, she posted a two-heat record of 345. Ron Gerfine declared Mike Lachance's performance in the 1999 Hamiltonian one of the greatest drives for $1 million you'll ever see. In the final, self-possessed and Lachance posted the fastest trotting mile in history, an effortless 151-3 stakes track and world record. From the first crop of their 1994 Hambo Champ Victory Dream, self-possessed became the first son of a Hamiltonian winner to win the sport's most coveted prize at the Meadowland. And Lachance said it was a day that will stay with him forever. Lachance was the ultimate catch driver. First time Iron Mike was money in the bank, and in 2003 he made more history, becoming the only driver to win the pace in Hamiltonian in the same year, with All-American Theory, and then he guided Amigo Hall to the biggest upset in Hambo history, paying $57. It was the first time Lachance sat behind the son of Balanced Image, and he was able to work out a perfect trip from post six. Mike Lachance was the nation's dash leader for four straight years, including two seasons when he passed the 700 mark and was second four times. He won Meadowlands titles in 1996 and 1997 and ranked among the top five at the Big M for 15 years. He holds the record for most wins on a single card at the Meadowlands with eight. His best money season of $10.7 million came at age 51 in 2001 when he won his fifth Little Brown Jug and third North America Cup with Better's Delight. And with 27 Breeders' Crown trophies, Lachance won three in one night at Woodbine in 2006 at age 55. Iron Mike at age 60 was the same as 10 or 20 years before, and he has been proud of his longevity. He continues to do it all as a dedicated professional who has kept himself in great shape. Always willing to accommodate the media, he has maintained his elite status throughout an amazing career. Still hopes to drive that next young star, helps his son Pat and Martin train horses, and his focus on family is second to none. The Meadowlands and Harness Racing salutes Mike Lachance.